This is a quick video to show how to read through your non-provisional or read through a pattern application on just one screen. Often I um, draft pattern applications for people uh, and they don't know how to read them, uh, especially the drawings and the description at once. Let me just show you what I mean. Let me go into a pattern application and this is an, a pattern application for invention. We've got the description, the drawings here. So I'll click in the description and I'll open up the description or the specification, the written, the written part of the application. And what I'm going to do straight away is I'm going to put this on the left hand side of my screen. And what I'm then going to do, and I've got Adobe Acrobat opening this up, but it could be Adobe Reader, that would be fine as well. And what I'm then going to do is go to the drawings of this same pattern application and I'm gonna open those up as well. And what you'll see is on Adobe Reader and Adobe Ac Acrobat, they open on different tabs. So I can click from the written uh, part, the written description, which goes all the way down and starts talking about the drawings. You can see the drawings here, and starts talking about the drawings a little bit later. And in particular, let's see where the detailed description starts. Yeah, we've just talked about the uh, start of the detailed description here. So lots of the things are labeled in numbers. So the members uh, here are labeled 14, and those will be shown on the drawings at various parts. You can see the number 14 there. The only issue is, when I'm reading this description, I want to be able to see the drawings at the same time because, of course, the features are related to in the description, and so I want them both on the screen or in the same place. I recently, an inventor who looked through this, well, some inventors actually print off this whole thing or print off the drawings so they can look at the drawings in their hand and then read the description at the same time. But that could take a lot of printing, uh, it could be a lot of pages, and it's just not needed because all I have to do, if you just look at this these tabs at the top here, I've got the written description, I'm going to keep that on the left of my screen. I'm going to click on the right one, I'm going to hold down, so this is the drawings now. I'm going to hold down the cursor as I click on this now at the top, and I'm going to drag it away. And what that does, it now opens up on a different screen. Again, I'm going to put that all the way to the right. Actually, that's just kind of perfect in positioning, because I don't want, if, if it opened up and there was a big kind of uh, overlap like that, that wouldn't be great, because I'd have to keep on going like that. So what I do is, on the right hand one, I just pull that along until, or on the left hand one, until it's just gone to that bar where I can move up and down. So now when it comes to reading, you know, the uh, description, I can see, you know, portions 24, and I can probably see in various images where 24 is, I could even do a control or command search and put 24. And that should, there you see, and then you can see where those things are, the portions labeled 24 are there in the drawings. So this is a really good way on one screen to be able to see your description, your written description on the left and the drawings on the right. And uh, you can do this on any computer. You might be using a different uh, PDF reader. It's not necessarily Adobe Reader or Adobe Acrobat you're using, but they all tend to have these tabs at the top. And I think I can actually grab this if I want to and actually bring it back in there. Yep, you can actually do that. But in this case, all we really want to do is click on that on the drawings, grab them over, so we then can look at both at the same time. Very, very useful, especially for reading through and checking through patent applications.